Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on Rogue Parkour. So this is a fantastic parkour plugin that requires no building of arenas. So how does it work? Well, when you join, it randomly spawns in blocks and you have to try and parkour over them. It's a really neat plugin, it's free to download and it's pretty configurable. So first of all, let's have a look at the commands by doing 4 slash RP. First of all, we need to set the world by doing that. Uh, you can set it anywhere, you can set it in the lobby. Then we need to set the arena position, so let's uh, set pos1 up here on this block. We're going to fly all the way down here to the other block. This is going to be pos2. And then in the middle we need to set the block which players have to step on to join the arena, which is uh, pretty cool. So this is going to be the start position. Uh, pos, no one at the end. And there we go. So um, once you move a bit we can actually start parkouring. So we can see in chat, my high score is 13. Make sure you download uh, the correct language file. Obviously it comes in Spanish to begin with, I believe. So obviously I downloaded the uh, English one and it, I was good to go. So once you reach a certain level, number of jumps, you get a reward. You can customize this in the config file, which I'll show you. So um, five is the diamond which I just threw over there. 10 is a golden apple, and you can add even more. So let's see how many jumps we can get. Uh, it's a really cool plugin. You can customize the blocks as well. And we are going to fall off in a second, or there. So we got 19 now, and there we go. So if we wanted to play again, we would go on this block, and then uh, the block has changed color, and we could play again. We just, we just completely failed. So, um, yeah, that's how you set it up in-game. Uh, you can obviously do RP Reload if you change the language file or edit anything. So, uh, we are going to go into the config file now and see what we can change. So, here we are in the Rogue Parkour folder and as you can see there are four different YML files. Let's go uh, in at the bottom in the rewards.yml. In here we can see that uh, every time you reach a certain number of blocks you get uh, various commands. So, obviously you get the message and a diamond, golden apple, etc. So it's very, very easy to add more of these. Obviously just copy and paste it. Change the value, so this could be, I don't know, seven. This could be 15 or something. Uh, very easy. Uh, we could actually add one more in here as well. Just so players get something good for reaching a high number. You could set this to 100 or something like that and just change the item and amount. So uh, iron underscore ingot could be one. And make sure you change the level here um, otherwise it'll look a bit strange. So this would be 15 and 7 would be here. So that's how you add more rewards. You could remove them all together if you didn't want them. Um, so that's pretty cool. Language.yml. Make sure you um, download the one you want depending on your server's language. Then we have the players. This obviously saves uh, various things about um, players. This should be 19. Um, I, I just closed the server instead of saving it so that's why I didn't save. And finally the config file. So this is where you can change various things. We have uh, the various positions we set in game. You can set up a MySQL database and we have the two modes. So the particle mode and the block mode. So I have noted them down here. Um, so you can ch choose between all of these. So one, two, three, four for the uh, block mode. There is stained clay, stained glass, stained glass panes and wall. So it's pretty cool that you can change between all of those. And then for the particle mode, we have uh, all of these. There is the normal one, the flame one, firework, explosion, instant spell, and witch. So just change the number here, and it will be whichever one you picked. So that is the plugin. It's really awesome. Uh, a lot of fun. Haven't seen anything like it before. So subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.